As the world makes a push for electric vehicles, more and more electric conversion kits are being made for bicycles. Generally, these kits offer an easy install when compared to gas motors. Typically, it includes a swapping of a wheel and attaching the battery and controller to the base of your bicycle. In today's video, we're going to take a look at Modul's line of conversion kits and let you know which one applies best to your bicycle and your lifestyle. The conversion kits that we'll be looking at are the 1000 Watt Pro Series, the 500 Watt Enthusiast, the 250 Watt Commuter, and the 250 Watt All-in-One Conversion Kit. The first question one should ask themselves when purchasing an electric conversion kit is what is your intent on using this electric bicycle? If you're looking for a little assistance climbing hills or a little help coming back from a long ride, a 250 watt would be a perfect choice. The first 250 watt we'll look at is the commuter. Apply this conversion kit to a front wheel or rear seven speed. The battery lasts for 25 miles while you travel at 15 miles per hour. With a charge time of five hours, this is the perfect kit for a rider who enjoys a workout and equally enjoys a Sunday cruise. Another common 250 watt is the e-bike all-in-one conversion kit. This conversion kit is centered around the front wheel where the motor and battery are located. Because of the simple design, the kit installs within minutes. Simply replace the wheel, slide on your throttle and cell phone holder, and you're done. No need for a battery or controller as they are part of the wheel's mechanics. Another great addition to this kit is that it has Bluetooth connectivity with an app designed for the wheel. Travel a 30 mile distance at top speeds at 15 miles per hour. This kit does, however, rely on pedal assist to get you going. With a charge time of 1.5 hours, you're able to get back on the road shortly after reaching your destination. This kit is great for an entry level rider who wants an easy install and an easy ride. If you're looking to primarily use your electric motor with little to no pedaling, then a 500 watt or higher will be sufficient. These motors have the power you need to take off from a dead stop, as well as climb most hills that you encounter with little to no pedaling. The Enthusiast is a 500 watt kit that can be for the front or rear seven speed. The battery charges at a standard of five hours. This kit travels a little less with a 17 mile range. However, your speed will go up to 21 miles per hour. Perfect for the rider looking to travel a moderate distance at a faster pace. The last kit is the most powerful of all. The Pro Series is a 1000 watt rear or front wheel conversion. This kit is basically the same as the Enthusiast, only it will travel a shorter distance of 14 miles, but at a high speed of 28 miles per hour. Also charging within five hours, this bike is great for the rider going a short distance and wanting to get there fast. These higher wattage wheels are also the best for climbing or pulling heavy loads. Whether you want to travel at top speeds or get the most out of an electric motor's performance, this kit is surely the best for you. With the exception of the all-in-one wheel, these kits have the option for a front wheel or rear seven speed. Choosing between the front or rear seven speed will differ in installation time and slightly impact your performance. For more on how a front or rear wheel conversion kit will impact your performance, check out our video on drivetrains. As all purchasing decisions, price is a major factor. The 1000 Watt Pro Series comes in a front 799.95 or rear seven speed for 809.95. The 500 Watt Enthusiast front wheel comes at 699.95 and the rear seven speed comes at 709.95. The 250 Watt Commuter comes with a front wheel of 599.95 and a rear seven speed of 609.95. And the all-in-one mod wheel comes at a price of $499.99. Electric is the future. And with these conversion kits, you'll be ahead of the rest environmentally and on the road. Check out the description down below where we'll have a link to all these kits. And as always, like and subscribe so we can get more videos to you guys in the future. And don't forget to leave us a comment and let us know which kit you think looks best. I'm Shane here with Blackberry and we'll catch you guys next time.